Hello and welcome to another video on Power BI beginner series and in this video we are going to cover a very simple concept index column and I realize after doing so many videos that I don't have a video on index column the basic uh, one which we had so I decided let's have that video today so I'm going to have it let's quickly jump onto the Power BI so I come to Power BI and I have uh, I came to Power Query let me close it and come back so that you understand how do I came in so I go back this is my file let me say apply changes here now I have few tables out there and so I go here uh, in the home tab transform data and transform data and I come to power query now in power query I have few set of data so let's take this set of data now what index column is index column is typically to give a uh, unique ID to each column and sometime uh, because the order of the data which it comes in in the same order it gives us a number unique number so that's why we also use it so the option uh, is available under add columns in the add column you have this index column there are two options from zero from one and custom we want to see so let's uh, use the first option under the add column index column from zero so the thing is it is added a new column which is starting from zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay that's there now we can go ahead and try the another one which is say from one so the difference is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and it's not that we cannot modify so simple this is the script you look at this like I clicked on this one and actually you have to click on the previous step then it's going to show see it's, it's saying it's starting from zero so I can go ahead and make this also as one and I say one and then I come here both the steps we should be able to see now so this is also starting from one this is also starting from one. so it's it's not like uh, Dax when you click on this particular step is going to show you you actually has to click on the step so this is not column formula these are steps so we need to be a little bit careful about that now so we know even if it is there it's there but so definitely index option or custom option should be something very similar which is allowing us to do so it says started and increment and this is really interesting what is the start point of the increment so we say start with the 10 and do an increment of 10 okay okay so we see this is the starting point this is the increment point and you remember we have changed it previously um, so this is 10 20 100 and do we really want to change it let's say we start from it to start it from 100 so so starting from 100 110 120 130 and then you can change this one let's say you want it to be difference of 100 and 100 then 100 200 300 400 so index column how you want to start it what is the indexing you want all this you can done uh, do uh, so go ahead and try this out very simple stuff but uh, very powerful when you need it actually uh, because what happens sometime you need this uniqueness in your column for doing certain operations and especially uh, it will come when you trying to you know create certain kind of subgroups and you don't have any incremental column uh, by creating the column or even while creating sometime the majors you require that uniqueness so this is what it can give you a uniqueness so go ahead and try this out do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you